<clears throat> All right, good morning. I thought I would take the time and uh, do a first impressions on the Wilderness Light float tube that I just got about a few weeks ago. I uh, haven't opened it, thought I would open it up and uh, show you the contents inside. Comes with some paperwork, the line catcher, which has a ruler on it, and then also the float tube itself. And it's pretty light. I mean, it's really light and it's small in size as well, so I should be able to fit a lot more stuff in my backpack. As you can see, I compared it to my waders. They're uh, almost similar size. The float tube's a little bit larger, but not by much, which is uh, really nice. And to be fair, you can pack down the Trinity uh, about to this size as well. But this is just how the float tube came out of the box. I'm sure we could pack it down a lot more than this. All right, let's see how long it takes to blow this up using a electrical pump that I have. The Wilderness Light has one main chamber and it takes about five minutes, 30 seconds, somewhere around there to fill it up with the electrical pump. This, I guess, is not a con. This is actually a pro uh, just by filling it up. And the reason why is because when we're out unpacking our backpacks and getting everything together, you can fill up the float tube with the electrical pump and then you can multitask essentially. So you can go and set up your rod and reel or get some other things together while that is happening, which is nice. The Trinity, it had two of them. They were kind of in an awkward place. So you'd have to kind of tend to it uh, sometimes, but it would fill up, it would fill up a little bit faster because you have to fill up two main uh, compartments. But this one, so this is actually a pro uh, in my book. Another pro that I like about this boat is that it has three deep pockets. I only thought it came with two pockets, but there's actually a pocket in the back um, behind the uh, back rest, which is really nice. And it's a pretty big pocket. And that's where I can put my uh, rain gear and bigger stuff like that. And then I can still hold my camera equipment in one side and then all my fishing equipment and the other side, which is really nice. All the pocket compartments will have YKK zippers, which is a good touch. I didn't know if they were going to have that. Uh, most people probably don't even notice, but the zippers are YKK, which are high-end zippers. You'll find that on Arteryx brands, outdoor brands. Uh, basically, any high-end outdoor gear will have these YKK zippers. So these pockets are fairly deep, which I really like. They seem a lot deeper than the Trinity. And you can fit seven beers in them, which is a good size. <laughs> Another pro is that this is made in the USA, which is really nice. Trinity made in China. When we're airing this up with the electrical pump, you have to top it off. And they provide you with a pump to top it off. I used to use my old uh, balloon pump that I would call it Victoria's Secret because of the colors, but they upgraded me to the Faster Blaster Mark II. Now, this thing's gonna be able to top it off extremely fast, so it's really nice to have this uh, part of my gear now. All right, there are a couple of cons. Uh, so far, just first impressions. They may not even matter once I get out on the water. First one, losing my bow on the Trinity. I love that little space. That's where I threw my dry sack. That's where I put my clothes, some of my food, uh, a lot of bigger items. Sometimes my shoes would go in there. It was just a really nice place to store everything. Uh, my net would go back there, so it was always easy to grab my net and pull it out. So losing that kind of sucks, but again, it may not even matter uh, because I do have that large pocket in the wilderness light on my backrest now. Con number two. Again, this may not matter. It's been a long time since I've used the float tube where I actually have to sit in the water, but losing the ability to sit above water uh, as of right now is a huge con, uh, but again, it may not matter. I know there's a couple of lakes that we'll, we will go to that usually get colder uh, the farther you go to the other side because that's where all the runoff is and sitting in the Trinity just feeling it on my shins is pretty cold so I guess we'll see how it feels 
when I'm uh, waist deep in the water. But those are the only two cons that I can really think of at this moment. Uh, by the time this video comes out, Jason and I will be doing our first camping trip. Jason just reported that his bag is 40 pounds and that's without food, water, and his camera equipment. So it's pretty heavy. Uh, we'll see. I hope mine's not that heavy, but you never know. All this, when you camp, you get all the sleeping gear that really adds up, plus the extra clothes that you have to bring, especially if it's going to rain or snow. So I guess we'll find out. But this is my first impressions of the Wilderness Light. Tell me what you think about it. Let me know if you own one. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know your pros and cons on it. And I will see you later. Bye.